All right, welcome back. This is Eric Robert from GlassAtchingSecrets.com. And for this second video, I'd like to explain to you all the different types of glass etching processes that you can do. I realize that some of you may have already decided on what type that you want to work with, but listen up to this information because it could open up your eyes to all the different opportunities of maybe combining a few different types into one and that can create something that's very unique looking. So these are all the different types that I will cover from cream etching to sand carving. Now let's start with cream etching first. This is probably the most simplest type that you can do. The only bad thing about using cream is that it doesn't give you the most professional looking etchings and a lot of times it's also hard to see those etchings but I do have some simple solutions that you can drastically increase these etchings to make them a lot more noticeable. And I will be showing you that in my members area. The second type of etching goes along with this, but it actually etches in an extremely different way. And that's hydrofluoric acid etching. This is probably one of the most dangerous types that you can use, but there are some benefits of using it. And it can help you make very interesting three-dimensional glass art by carving it into the glass. Now, because it's so dangerous, I don't recommend it. But instead of using it, you can actually use another type that I will explain here shortly. Engraving is something that I like to classify all the types that use a tool that comes in direct contact with the glass. And some of the other processes that I talk about could be categorizing this. But I like to separate a little bit. And the three types of engraving are rotary engraving, wheel engraving, and hand engraving. Rotary engraving is probably the most popular that you use a Dremel type tool to grind into the glass. And wheel engraving is another rotary type, but it uses copper or diamond wheels to cut into the glass. Hand engraving is something I don't really talk about much but it basically involves using a scribe type tool to engrave into the glass. And two processes that come to mind for hand engraving are stemple and point engraving. These last few types involve sandblasting, which is one of my favorite and becoming one of the most popular types because there's so many different techniques that you can use. So the first type I wanna talk about is simple surface sandblasting. And this involves using any type of sandblaster to etch the surface lightly. And it's sort of like green etching because it's a surface type etching, but it looks a lot more professional. There are more advanced techniques that you can use, and that involves photo etching and shade blasting. Photo etching is a process that you can actually take a picture and etch it into the glass. And you can see an example of one I did below. It's basically a picture of an eagle that I transform into an etching on glass. If you find people that show you how to do this, they will explain ways that are very expensive with very expensive software. But I like to teach ways that you can actually use free software, and I show you how to use it without costing a lot of money. Shade blasting is something I don't really get into very much, but I think this is something that's very interesting. And that's basically using the sandblaster and very, very lightly blasting the surface on the glass. And you use that by using airbrush type techniques. We did feature a member on the blog a while back and we were actually discussing a possibly featuring him in the members area. Okay, now I want to talk to you about the last type called sand carving with a series of different techniques that you can use. This is by far my most favorite type to create artistic etchings. And this allows you to actually carve similar to hydrofluoric acid. This type of sandblasting requires a special type of sandblaster called a pressure pot. And a lot of times this equipment starts to get very expensive, but I've always been shown ways to drastically reduce the cost of getting started. And a lot of companies will try to sell you very, very expensive equipment to use, but don't buy this stuff until you go through my videos. Now there are generally three different techniques of using sand carving and that involves the single stage, the double stage, and the multi-stage. Now we'll talk about those a little bit. The single stage sand carving process is pretty simple and that involves etching a design very deep into the glass. And then when you flip it over, it actually pops out and it looks a lot more interesting. 
double stage sand carbon is a process that etches two different layers and this can create something that looks more like a glass sculpture. Multi-stage sand carbon involves etching three or more layers to create something that looks almost realistic and this gives a more three-dimensional type look. So I hope you enjoyed looking at all the different types of glass etching processes that you can use and now I'll show you some glass such an artist that I really really like that can hopefully inspire you a little bit. And I'll show you that in my slide here next. Okay for the first glass such an artist I want to talk about is by a guy named Dave Schulte and he does really impressive shading techniques and every time I look at his work I'm always inspired a little bit so I asked him if he'd share some of his pictures in this video and he was happy to so hopefully that gets you a little bit of inspiration also. And now we're going to zoom up here on some of these photos and check them out. And this first one is just a picture he takes. He can take any kind of photograph and he enlarges it, pastes it onto a glass, and then he actually hand cuts everything out. The second one is a picture of a shark that he did that looks kind of almost three-dimensional. I think that's really cool looking. And this third one I just kind of randomly picked out and it's a picture of a toucan and the rainforest. And it's, I just think it's really amazing the work he does and hopefully you enjoyed looking at some of his work. So now I want to go on to the second glass section artist and that's by a guy named Kyle Goodwin. He does a lot of like sand carving type of work but he also does surface section and a little bit of shading too. We featured him a while ago on the blog and uh, he was happy to share some photos that he had. I picked these out and you can kind of just go through them and see some of his work. And the first one is just kind of a picture of a, a marlin and it seems like he does a lot of like ocean type etchings. The second one and pictures in our marlin and a turtle and octopus and he actually draws everything himself and he hand cuts it and carves everything himself. It's really awesome work. And the third one is just a little bit of smaller etching with sand carving techniques and there's a little bit of a surface etching in there too. You can also check out his work at hunterglass.com. I think you'll really enjoy looking at his stuff. Now uh, please feel free to leave a comment below showing your appreciation for these guys. I think they're awesome. But just one thing I want to say though is please don't bug these guys too much about how they do their work. They're, they're busy guys, but they're definitely open to sharing ideas with you. Um, I kind of have a funny story about that a while ago. Um, when we featured Kyle on the blog, and I'm still sorry about this, Kyle, if you're listening, but uh, we featured him, and I told people to just check out his website, and feel free to leave him some comments about how awesome his work is. And, <laughs> and what happened was a lot of people were asking him how he does his work, and it kind of uh, consumed a lot of his time. So... Try not to bug them too much, but um, feel free to check out the work and uh, you will really enjoy it. And I might actually post some links to the past blog posts that we had when we featured him below. So uh, check out some of that work and I, I hope this inspires you a little bit. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed learning about all these different techniques that you can do and seeing some of the possibilities of becoming a pro like Dave or Kyle. To get good at this though, it not only takes a lot of time doing it, it also takes a lot of time learning it. And the way to achieve that is to get the foundational knowledge and then practice until you develop those skills. I know some people only want to learn the basic stuff and some people already know that stuff such as the cream, the surface sandblasting, or sand carving, and we will cover all of that. But what I will be doing is also discussing inexpensive sources for supplies and equipment to help you save a whole bunch of money. And then we'll also talk about how to make your etchings look a lot better to really catch people's eye. And a third type of topic we'll talk about is we'll give you all these different types of updated project ideas to keep your mind thinking creatively. So that will help you uh, achieve your end result a lot faster. The fourth thing I'd like to talk about is how to do all these types of different etching techniques that I covered in this presentation and how to do them a lot cheaper than most people will show you. And another fifth thing I would like to talk about is how to make your own equipment yourself to save a lot of money and how to use inexpensive equipment much more effectively because some people have problems with that. Some of the last two things we'll talk about is like how to improve your equipment to make it much more enjoyable and easier to use 
and then we'll talk about all these awesome stencil solutions to uh, save you a lot of time because uh, cutting out stencils is a really tedious process. So I'm in the process of opening up my members area for you. Uh, so my question to you is what questions do you have and what type of etching are you actually interested in? So if you could just please leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video and uh, let me know what type of etching process really interests you. Also, what are your frustrations? Just leave a comment below and maybe I could help you out. In my next video, what I will do is I'll talk about some of these things that I just explained and then I'm going to show you my view on the high price etching equipment companies and I'll share uh, some of my info of my story on how I actually saved thousands of dollars and how I got into the etching business. So thanks again. Uh, leave a comment and uh, I hope to hear from you. Thanks.